we find that our children and single individuals and moms right now on this particular corner of Sherman and Fond du Lac Avenue only have these two convenient gas stations. So our children wake up in the morning with just convenient food, if you will, not fresh fruits and not fresh vegetables. So there is a need and we've learned that our communities pain and our community's voice was, we need a grocery store. The concept of Sherman Park Groceries uh, came about when my wife and I uh, received this particular retail spot back from, unfortunately, a daycare center, a commercial daycare center that did not survive COVID. And practicing good stewardship, if you will, saying, God, what would you have us do with this particular site? How do we advance the kingdom of God? How do we give generously? How do we lean in and lift up our community? Me growing up on 2nd and Wright in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in a family of 13, eight girls and three boys, um, where there were two things that we were dealing with as a family and a household. One, the quality of food and the quantity of food. There was never enough. We've experienced this, and maybe you have as well, where you're behind an individual at the cash register and they start removing things from their grocery cart. Staple foods, dairy products, bread, um, fresh fruits and vegetables. Well, the Feed My Sheep Room or the Feed My Sheep Ministry will allow us to do 100 gift cards on a monthly basis at $50 per gift card. And each one of these gift cards have a contingency to it, or a stipulation, if you will, to them. The stipulation is $25 of that gift card must go to fresh fruits and vegetables. The second $25 of that particular gift card goes to staple foods like dairy products and eggs and cheese and canned goods, if you will. Those gift cards will help bridge the gap, if you will, um, some of our participants will very well have a Quest card or a food share card. And sometimes, as I stated earlier, that's just not enough. This is just one way that we can minister to the others, not just feeding them the word of God, but letting them literally see the Christianity of giving and spirit of generosity.